hello everyone welcome back to my little channel so today i'm gonna have a little vlog like i promised on instagram because a bitch is home alone and i feel lonely well i guess i'm here with lenny which is my little dog that doesn't really count but patrick is at school y el marido no esta so i was like i need company so you guys are gonna be my little company right now i'm making breakfast i'm making a little huevito let me show y'all so my little huevo has chile serrano onion ham y pues el huevo typical mexican breakfast i think instead of like weenie and shit i already put the little sal in there and I'm going to be eating it with a nopalito. Let me know in the comments if you eat this or not. Or what do you have for breakfast? So I ended up putting three eggs in here. Y me pasé de verga porque me salieron twins. Me salieron two twins. And I'm like, Ooh, oh, well, girl, I guess your ass going to eat a lot this morning. But I don't really care because I stay fucking hungry when I wake up like, Bitch, I could eat a fucking cow. I could eat a whole motherfucking cow. And then I have my little cafecito here. Hey, coffee. So this is what my little breakfast is looking like. I have a little nopal. I love nopales. And then I do love to eat tortilla, bitch. Like, if I can have tortilla in my breakfast, bitch, I'm gonna be hungry. And I love these chiles. They're from Larry Hernandez. Um, this one is my favorite, the chiltiping one, but I tried this other one, the habanero, like if you love chile, like you love your asshole to be on fucking fire, bitch, I recommend this one or a combination of both. So, because I don't have nobody to sit with me, I'm sad, I'm gonna watch 911 while I have my little breakfast, sorry. Como que I was gonna burp, pero no, no me salió el güey. And my cafecito, Cheers. To a great day. So right now, now that I had breakfast, I need to um, submit some refunds. I have a little paper. On the other side, I have a list of people who have refunded items. Normally that happens when we don't have the item in stock because sometimes we make mistakes. Not gonna lie. We make a few little mistakes, you know, because we're human. And then we send out a wrong product, and then when the person orders it, it's out of stock. And it's like, I'm sorry, girlfriend. So if that's ever happened to you, I'm so sorry. And now you know why it's out of stock. It's not that I um, don't have my inventory correctly or anything like that. It's just that sometimes we make mistakes. So I think I'm going to try to reset you guys right here. And I have to answer emails as well. That's the worst part of my job. I hate reading emails. I hate having to do all that stuff like i just want to do nails that's it like can somebody else do my job but zule don't have an assistant but you know what i don't want one either because i say i don't like to do this part but i kind of do and i don't at the same time and i have my little assistant over here he's sleeping hi assistant thanks for helping i wish that was me right now but these refunds need to get done. And then I'm going to um, process the orders. So if you ordered, hey girl, I'm going to try to package some and give you a little shout out and stuff. Um, so let's keep watching. Obviously, you ain't going to see me um, answer emails because you're going to be nosy like Zule. Why are you showing your business to the world? Um, so we're going to skip that part and I'll be back right now. All right, so it's time to print the little orders. I just press here and then click to print the the labels. Same, voila. Now we just gotta wait for them to print. So here they come. They're coming out slowly but surely. Y aquí el amigo todavía durmiendo la verga. It's getting cold already. This is my little outfit. <laughs> Let's see how many orders I get to ship out today because sometimes the orders could be really easy where it could be like one item, two items, and then I have to go look all over the place. Like, let me go restock and stuff like that. So it takes a little bit longer. 
Let's see if Zule could be an MVP of the day. I printed out 40 orders on one stack and then I'm gonna print out another like 25 on the side just in case because it's already 12. It's gonna be 12 in four minutes and I have to pick up Patrick by um, two something from school. So let's see what I could do in those two and something hours. I'm gonna need another coffee though because this bitch is a little tired as fuck. Like my ojeritas are like popping today. I didn't go to the gym today because I don't have a membership. I'm the guest. <laughs> And no me lleva, no. so today I just have to work, be a homebody, be a mom, be um a boss lady, and let's see what else we get to do today. I kind of feel like going to Marshalls, but I know that's a little dangerous. Raise your hand if you like to shop. Girl, I love to shop. I love Ross. I love Marshalls. I love Home Goods. I'm a fucking um peligro in la pinche tienda but you know what i feel like i need a little decor already i don't know i'm gonna decorate for fall like i love fall and everything but not really like to decorate my house is almost all pink so i feel like orange and pink do not vibe um but i do want to get ready for like christmas and stuff i don't know so let me get to my workroom and i'll keep showing you guys my little work day so, so far I haven't really done too much. I just ate breakfast, drank my coffee, answered emails, which I said that's my worst job task that I have to do. But you know what? I enjoy reading comments too because, I mean, comments, the fuck. I like to um, read emails because sometimes some of you guys are so cute and you you like conversate with me like, hey, Zule, da -da -da -da. if for whatever reason you ever email me and I don't respond, like, my email be tripping. I don't know what's going on with it, but I've been saying that I need to open a new email somewhere else, not with Yahoo, because it be, like, putting my emails in a thread. And I'm like, this ain't no fucking um, messenger and shit. Like, the fuck? So, let me go upstairs real quick, and then we could keep chatting. My hair's already drying. Si me bañé. Ando de huevona, pero si me bañé la verga. Bitch, I'm not even gonna lie. Ya medio frío la verga, so I want to put a fucking sweater on. And it's so soft. I got it at Marshalls. No, not Marshalls. At Costco last year. So soft. It's a fila sweater. Y ahora sí, a trabajar, perras. Hasta ya me, ya me peiné. I made a little ponytail and shit. Um, my usual. Y a trabajar. You guys like my little pop socket? I got it from Velvet Caviar on Instagram. Lenny and his fucking toys. Look at his little toy there. Another little toy there. Like, bitch. Okay, so I made myself another coffee on my little portable cup because I'm going to take it upstairs. And again, I love my little Nespresso machine. It's my favorite. So pretty much how I make my coffee is I put the ice in there first. Then I brew my coffee, and it brews only like three ounces or less. Um, but with the ice, it kind of makes a little bit more. And then I put the milk. So this is a leche that I like to drink. It's the hazelnut one. And honey, if I had to go to Starbucks every time I wanted a coffee, a bitch would have already spent like $10. Okay. So ever since I got my Nespresso machine, a bitch don't gotta go nowhere. You just stay home and that's it. But yo si le echo un chingo de crema because it's like espresso, espresso. And that should be kind of strong. Like, I like it to be a little sweet but strong, you know? Perfection, honey. Okay, ahora sí. A trabajar se ha dicho. Coffee first. You people later. Okay, so we're in the workroom. Honey, it's so fucking cold, bitch. Because no estaba haciendo ni madres. So right now, my first order of the day is for Jennifer. Hey, girl. She did place an order for one's labeling adhesive. Girl, you know what's up. So y'all gonna have a little ASMR. A bitch woke up a little weak today, so... Normally, I have some scissors here that I'll... Oh, hold on. Let me get them. Oh. 
So I use my little gold scissors. I have these available on my website. I use them a little to clip the um, bubble wrap because we got to conserve product. So I roll it up like this and then with some tape because bitch, I never knew how expensive packaging materials was until I started my own little business. And I'm like, girl, one roll of bubble wrap, one motherfucking roll of bubble wrap can cost you $22. Can y'all believe that? Like, what the fuck? So pretty much, this is my little process. I get my little envelope. Sometimes we have pink. Sometimes we have black. That's Zule colors. So, yeah. Put that little baby in the package with the little invoice in there. And seal the little bitch. Give it a little kiss. Because Zule loves all of y'all. And then make sure it belongs to Jennifer. Because sometimes I be giving them to the wrong people. Only sometimes. Okay, not always. Alright, and then off it goes, Jennifer. To the bag. We have another one glue. Hey, girlfriends. Sometimes I get fucking paper cuts por andar aquí en el papel. Hold on, I have to get the glue. I have it in a little bottle. I mean, in I put them in a little box. Well, I don't, but we keep them in a box. And so, I be getting little paper cuts. I should have asked you guys, like, what kind of topics I should talk about while I did these orders. I tried to, um... What do you call it? Um, get my little stand so that you guys can see below. But it didn't. It it was too fat. My table is a little too fat, and so no se puede. But this is every morning. Ooh, over here blaming the post office for breaking your shit, but it's me. Just kidding. It's bubble wrap. It's secure and it's just a glue bottle. So Sh Shabon. Hill. Hey, hey, Siobhan. They want an acrylic number 13. We have so many nudes. So if y'all didn't know, this is a nude. It kind of looks like my sweater in the powder. This is number, oh wait, this is number 12. Good thing, good thing I'm double checking. No wrong orders today, okay? Number 13. Looks just the same, but they're like slightly different, um, like a little lighter, a little darker. So when I came out with my colors, I, I guess a little story time or whatever. When I came out with my acrylic colors, I wanted to provide, um, all of y'all some colors that, I have never seen. Well, obviously I've seen them, but most of them have been like in a gel polish or a nail polish, but not in acrylic. And I don't know about you guys, if you guys are nail nail techs or not, but if you are, you know what I mean. So in the past, when I started doing nails, there was very few color acrylics or whatever. And sometimes I had to mix a few colors together to make another color because my client wanted a specific color that Zule didn't have and I'm like okay girl well let me attempt it because this is like fucking color class and shit sometimes the color comes out good sometimes it doesn't and it's like whoa what, what the fuck like if you're trying to make like pink you, you assume pink with white is gonna be baby pink but bitch it depends what other colors are mixing that pink and it's like, what the fuck? So, you won't always get the same shade of pink. So, when I was picking my colors, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get these shades that almost look the same, but don't. But they're still different, but it's like a lighter or a darker shade from each other. Because sometimes that's what you want. You know, you're like, I like this orange, but if it was a little lighter, it would have been good. Or if it was a little darker, it would have been perfect. You know what I mean? It's kind of like coffee. Like, poquita leche, por favor, está perfecto. So, that's what I had in mind. Pinches uñas, no me dejan agarrarlo. That's what I had in mind when I, I've, 
when I choose my colors. So that's why we have a million. No, I just kidding, not that many, but we have a million acrylics that look similar, but they're not. Like you can never have enough nudes or colors, period. So this customer Jamela. Jamela Williams. Hey girl. Shorter two little glues. So we package them like this. Nice and safe, you know. Because we don't want it to get broken or anything like that. I feel like I'm at the gym. Like I have to um breathe a little hard and stuff. Maybe go on Instagram and have you guys ask me a few questions that I should probably talk about right now while I work and stuff because I don't know what else to talk about. So next I have a customer named Ileana Villegas. Shout out girlfriend. She from Chicago. She bought a glue. My favorite 2X coffin tips. And these beautiful little brushes. So if y'all didn't know we have brushes, now you do. So she got one of the little glitter handles. I don't know what they glitter. It's the Princesita number 12. The little liner brush, the one que parece una pestañita chiquita la verga, is like tiny as fuck for like itty bitty little details. And my little famous liner brush, this one is double ended. And it's the same one that I use on my nails. It comes in rose gold and black. So I just went on Instagram and made a post to see if some of you guys are even on Instagram. Because they be acting like people don't work. I forget people go to school, people go to work, people got shit to do. Not like me over here trying to conversate because a bitch... It's not bored, but I feel like I need to chat with somebody. Because normally I have somebody to chat with, and he's not here. So I'm kind of sad and lonely. But I don't know if y'all not understand my question, but I got two answers, but it's not a question. So I was like, mm, no, pues. Pues, pues, pues. Like, I kind of want to go live, but I need to be able to kind of focus on the orders because some of them are not as simple as the one two three glues that i've been getting and i don't want to make a mistake so leave me a suggestion maybe i could do another video in the future because i'm thinking about doing like a podcast well i've i've been wanting to for a good minute so here's a little activator i twist it put the little top so it doesn't spill and bubble wrap it um, I don't know. I've always kind of wanted to do like a little podcast so we can talk about topics because I don't really, I like talking about nails. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes I want to talk about other things and I feel like we have a lot in common, you know, that we can talk about and it'll be a little juicy and entertaining and maybe educational for some people. Um, but so some questions like how do you build an apex? Is more of a visual thing than a um, explanation, you know? So things like that, no. That's not what I'm looking for. Maybe when I'm live and I'm showing you, but other than that, like, girl, I can't answer that without showing you in person, you know? And I feel like I'm more than just nails. So come on, ask away. Or maybe ask me a question about yourself that you need help with or something. Like, I want to feel like a therapist here. I went to school for that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm just kidding, but I feel like I did. I'm a professional. Like, normally, I have my clients to tell me things and then I give them feedback. So, I think I missed that because I don't go to work no more. I mean, I do, but very part-time because I work far. I work in LA and that's 80 miles from where I live now and I haven't found anything near me so I ain't about to risk my life daily to go do some nails so part time and then we got each other now okay all right guys we have our first actual question 
Now, I'm not going to give you guys names of anybody asking because, you know, it's confidential. We're all about confidentiality here. <laughs> it's like the doctor, okay? So, this person asked how to leave a toxic relationship. Okay, I have been in a toxic relationship in the past. This was like a high school relationship. Um... But it was hard. So if you ever been in a toxic relationship and you left the the relationship, leave a comment. Like, how did you do it? Because I was stuck. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this toxic relationship and how it ended so that you can... I mean, I didn't end it because it's hard as fuck. So if you guys can help a sister out over here... um. With a little advice, because I got dumped. <laughs> so, I was in high school when this happened. I I was blindly in love with this person. And they were really nice and funny. And then, over time, they started to get a little psycho. Not psycho, psycho, but, like, jealous. Jealous, insecure, I would say. And, how do you call it? Um... I guess because we spent so much time together, we would go to school together, that I couldn't see myself without the person, right? And I started to notice, like, the fuck? This fool's trying to not let me have friends. He got me fucked up. Like, Felicia, bye. Nope. Ooh, my glue fell. Hold on. I was like, nope, not gonna happen. My sister would tell me that he wasn't good for me. And you know when people tell you to not do something, it's like, bitch, you ain't gonna listen. It's just part of humans. But I, over time, he started to show more, like, signs of, um, loco. Not, not loco, pero like, like, I don't know, it, it reached a point where... I couldn't even look up if somebody was trying to pass by on a skateboard. Because he'll be like, do you know him? Did you fuck him? And I'm like, the fuck, bitch? I don't know this fucker. He's just passing on the fucking skateboard. Now, the one thing that I do advise is don't fucking let yourself, okay? If you're in a toxic relationship and they're trying to dominate your ass and make you feel like you're this small and they're bigger than you, don't let yourself. Because, no. It's going to be a lot harder to leave the situation. So, thankfully, I never let myself um, from this person. And the, I guess what helped our relationship come to an end was that he was really jealous. Towards the end, he was really jealous. We graduated high school and we wouldn't see each other as often. Because, you know, you start to go to school. People go to different schools. Your family your family influences you a lot. So, for me, I think his grandpa or grandma or whoever told him to get a girl who didn't have a kid. Because I already had a little boy named Patrick. I had him in high school. So, his family didn't like me because you're on a pinche puta, which was not true. Maybe just a little bit. No, just kidding. I was not. It just happened um i feel like they influenced him a lot later on once i wasn't around as much plus his jealousy and um he told me one day like i can't do this anymore type of thing like i guess he just couldn't be happy because he didn't know what the fuck i was doing i had a friend and he'll be like you're probably fucking him behind my back and blah blah blah, blah. So, I don't know if he met somebody else or what the hell, but he ended up breaking up with me. I cried and I cried. But, you know what? I thank God that he broke up with me because I don't think I would have been able to do it. Or who knows? Maybe I would have been in a crazier relationship. I don't know. But please listen to your family and friends because they are not telling you anything to hurt you. They just want to see you happy. And if you are in a relationship like that where you know, like, this shouldn't be happening in my life, then listen to your gut and leave. Even though you love them, there's more dick out there. There's more dick. There's more pussy. And, bitch, you don't need that shit. There's fucking toys now that comes to our sponsor.
<laughs> I just kidding. You thought I was gonna have a little dildo or some shit? No, no, no. But maybe, maybe I'll start selling that too. Um, but yeah. So anybody who has a comment with how you left your um, or you have an experience in a toxic relationship and you ended and now your partner, we need your help. Okay, comment below, um, and give us some advice. Okay, why do I look extra for now? What did my phone do? Okay, so my next order is from Taylor McKay. She ordered these pink little towels. I call them towels, but um, they're pretty much like a little napkin type of thing that you place on your nail table. AKA, I call them diapers. Because you got to change them after every client. So... We will be having them in purple soon. They go in one of these. And she also ordered the little coffin nail tips in color natural. Yeah, she did. Some little skeleton hands. Silver. Some little fall leaves. Don't forget to get your fall leaves. They're $5. And there's like a million of them in there. I'm just kidding. Not a million, but... There's enough for like the next couple years, bitch. And some little gold, dark gold hands. So that's her little order. Now let's just seal it up, bitch. I'm actually doing pretty. Oh, I just stuck. I feel like I'm wrapping Christmas gifts. I love it. That's kind of like my favorite part of packing orders because I'm going to I'm put a little tape because I kind of sealed it wrong. Got to protect it. Nobody must steal nothing. Um, So I like packing the orders because I feel like I'm packing Christmas gifts for everyone. Especially this one. This one looks like it's a trash bag, but it's not, okay? <laughs> it's not. But the uglier the package, the less likely it is to get jacked. Just, just saying. I think... All right, let me reword that. The package is not ugly. It's not, it's not appealing. That's why I don't really have, like, pretty packaging. Like, extra fancy-looking packaging. Because I don't want somebody to be like, Oh, my God, this is so cute. Let me steal it. Hell no. Nobody wants that. Like, all the pretty little boxes go inside an ugly box, you know? Or, like, a normal box. So, this customer, she ordered... Refill tips for extra long stiletto. Hmm, do I have those here? I'm not sure if I have them here. I have to go get them. So I'm just going to staple it and put it to the side for now. And the next customer is the, the Joanna Westbrook. So like I was saying, um, I'm doing pretty good on the orders. Let's see. I'm almost done with my first stack. Woo! Honey, so if I told myself if I'm able to finish both stacks before it's time to go to the post office, I will go to Marshall's. I'm not going to go to Ross because I already went to Ross, but I want to go to Marshall's. Let's see what they have there because I like to look at stuff. Let me know in the comments if you a little shopper. Or you like window shopper you like to shop so she ordered two little glues um where are they at right here thank you girlfriends and you know what I, I was thinking about it and I was like hmm I'm going to be giving a free little gift to all my little hoes that are watching this little video so next time that you place your order because you know y'all coming to the website on payday guys right? kidding um but for the next couple days if you do place an order do type in the notes free gift so i know that zule owes you a little gift you know because you guys have been hanging out with me so don't tell anybody because if they didn't watch the video it's not fair y'all chilling here with zule i love to give out free stuff so might as well just throw it in your package girl so, Char, Charwin Pierre, she ordered, I think it's a girl, Lewis, so it might be a guy. I don't know. 
my beautiful customer ordered a black painting gel. Let me get it. All right, they ordered a black painting gel. Oop, it fell. Damaged product, 10% off. Just kidding, and a gold one. All right, so they also ordered a iridescent chrome. So beautiful. A bling adhesive, Mia Secret Activator. This is the best combo ever. Oh, you couldn't even see the little Z. Um, they also got some lint-free wipes. And and I believe that's it. So let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, I'm missing something. Somebody stole something. Iridescent chrome, lint-free wipes, my secret. Oh, no, I kind of wrong. It's all there. It's all there. So I guess people on Instagram are not understanding my question. Maybe I just wrote it wrong. Because somebody told me to talk about the Dodgers. Or they put Dodgers, but I don't know anything about the Dodgers. I don't watch I don't really watch um sports. Or maybe they think I'm gonna do one now with the Dodgers. I don't know. But I do not know anything about sports. I do not follow sports or anything like that. And then somebody said packing orders, which I'm already doing. So, girl, I read your mind. I read your mind. We are going to I'm packing little orders here. So, they always go bubble wrap because ain't nobody got nobody got time to have a broken little activator. Um, so, here they are. Hopefully next time I'll have a better stand so that you guys can see my hands and all of that. Like, you know, from up top. But the one that I did have here didn't fit. Like the little clamp is too small for the table that I have. So we're going to seal it up. And close it. Package with love, baby girl. It's a baby, baby girl. Something like that, or baby dog. I was just watching a video, and that's what it came out. All right, so we have a good, juicy question. But first, let's have a shout out so to Sophia, my little homegirl over here. She purchased two 3XL coffin, no C curve. Those are long as fuck, bitch. These are 2XL, no C curve. If you think these are long, these are longer. So she got two of those. She got the stiletto coffin, the clear ones. Those are my favorite for pointy nails. And she also got the 2X square C curve. Oh, she got pure nail tips going to... What state is that? Virginia, I think. Ever since I started my online store, I've learned so many cities and states that I did not fucking know existed. Like, when I was in elementary, bitch, I didn't learn no 50 states or anything like that. Hold on, let me take off my sweater. Ooh, bitch, I'm gonna show a titty over here. Hold on. So, somebody asked me... Hold on. Somebody asked me that, hold on, what's the question exactly about getting married young? Getting married young and how to tell your parents. So it's funny because when I got married, it's going to be five years already. So how old was I? Let's see, I'm about to be 30. So I was like 24. Yeah, I'm 29. So I was like 24. So that's kind of young. But I didn't tell them. I was scared. I didn't tell them until I knew it was for sure, for sure. Like I had already been with my man for like two years. I mean, five years. We've been together for 10 years, but we got married five years ago. So tú no me sueltas la sopa la verga. For me, it was kind of hard because my situation that I was in, I feel like. Hold on. Um, my, like, our parents 
we we paid rent like they made us pay rent since when we were young like out of high school so by me getting married and moving out it was gonna be a little tougher a little tighter so depends on what your situation is like but you know what one of my clients once told me because i was scared and i was being um i would think about my family too much you know like i didn't put myself and my son um, first, so I was like, you know what? It's time for me to be a little selfish. So if you have a kid or you don't have a kid, hold on, let me get um my sandy mints. If you don't have a kid, but you want to get married, I'm not sure what the reason is that it's holding you back and you're scared to tell your parents. But if it's like financial or whatever, like you help out and you're kind of um like you feel bad because you're gonna leave them and then like it's part of life in mexico they didn't look back you know so what my client told me years ago was you know what zule your parents already lived their life it's your turn to live your life and that gave me a little bit more courage so that's when i decided to tell them so if you ever kind of feel guilty with anything just think about it like dude you have to be happy and if getting married is going to make you happy or who knows what if your partner is going to move in hmm, that's that's a different little story so just just do it just tell them and if your parents are scary as fuck then be there with your partner <laughs> um boyfriend también but um not just kidding with all Honestly, I think it's just best to tell them straight up, like, you know what? I'm going to get married. It's nothing new. Everybody fucking does it. Well, not everybody does it, but it'd be worse si no más te largaras a la verga. Like, they used to do it in Mexico, you know, cuando te juías. Or, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but, like, at least you're not running away without telling them. You're just telling them, I'm going to get married. So... I don't know what are you guys' thoughts about that question. I just feel like just sit down and talk. I don't think people propose or ask for la mano de la novia anymore. I don't think they do that. But do what makes you happy and do it for yourself, okay? Don't think about others, like how am I going to hurt them? I mean, of course, that's going to pass through your head and everything. But at the end of the day... It's your life. Your parents lived their life already. So, do you girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever you are, just do it. Como Nike. Do it, girlfriend. All right, so we got ourselves another question. Um, somebody asked, places that I've traveled to, pros and cons. And I haven't really gotten a chance to travel, actually, because... I've never really had money for it. Like, ever since I left my job to start my own business, I've been tied up paycheck to paycheck. Well, even from the beginning. Like, you know, when you have a job, the bills don't fucking wait for nobody. So, I never had any extra money. But the thing with a paycheck is that if I went to work last week, like, it's going to come, you know? Like, I already work for it versus how to call it when you're self-employed um if you don't work you don't get paid bitch and in some jobs you have vacation hours so um i've been self-employed for well i started doing nails like full time seven years ago um so one time i went to vegas i took a few days off um but it hurt me real bad because I didn't realize. I was like, I, I got money saved up, you know? I had like a thousand dollars saved up or whatever. But how to call it that little trip? I ended up spending money, of course, you know? Like, bitch, you ain't gonna go to Vegas or anywhere and not spend money. Things cost, you know? Especially if you're trying to have an okay time. Um, so when I came back a couple of days in, I realized like, 
fuck, man. Me not working those days or whatever really threw me off. Like, my little savings got fucking... It disappeared. So, ever since then, I was like, I can't really take time off because if a bitch don't work a bitch don't get paid and like i said the bills don't stop like i work out of a salon so i have to pay my rent at the salon i have to make enough money for my products i have to make enough money for my personal bills which was my part of the rent my car payment my gas my phone bill my son's stuff my personal stuff so you know what i mean I'll let you guys know um, what that's like. So that was a... So for many years, I haven't taken a proper vacation or anything like that because of money. Um, I, I always... I'm always pretty hesitant because I think, like, fuck, when I come back... Um... I'm gonna have all this work, or or also ASMR. Another thing that stopped me from like taking little trips was my clients. Like I didn't, I felt bad if I was not able to service them all. You know, like if I take a week off, there's gonna be obviously girls that were supposed to come that week that I cannot service, so I would feel stressed out. Like oh my god, I have to squeeze them in somewhere. So I would overwork myself so that I could take a couple days off, which is not cool, guys. You take the time, the time you need. Those clients better fucking understand. And if they don't, you, your clients that love and support you will understand. Now, if it's their birthday, then I can see why they kind of get a little, a little butt hurt. But other than Vegas, I've gone to. Um, San Francisco, which was like two years ago. Um, two years ago, I was a little bit more financially stable. I learned to save my money a little bit better. Um, I don't really shop as much as I used to before because I feel like it's a thing when you barely start working, growing up, with not having anything, no money. You just want to splurge and buy a bunch of shit. So I, I did that for a couple years already. And I feel like I'm good. I still shop for things. But nothing like where I'm in debt. Thankfully, I've already paid all my credit cards. I don't own a credit card anymore. Thank the Lord. But I kind of feel like getting one. And so where else have I gone? I've been to Mexico in an emergency when my grandma passed away a couple years ago. But other than that, I haven't really gone anywhere. Like, growing up, my mom, like I mentioned, we didn't have any money, so we couldn't go nowhere. Um, and so now, I feel like COVID, we couldn't do shit. So hopefully in the future, I'm able to um, visit other places. Last year, before COVID started, like around January or December the previous year, I had thought like, oh, we could go to Hawaii, you know, like even though I'm scared of flying and shit, but, oh, so much tape. I was like, maybe we could go to Hawaii. I've never obviously been there. Like I'm terrified of water. So just thinking that I'm going to be flying over a bunch of water scares the shit out of me. But you know what? I was like, it's an experience. I feel like my son's never seen shit like that before. And um, growing up, I obviously didn't get to experience things like that. Like, I didn't really think about traveling when I was a little kid because I was so busy playing outside. But now that kids don't play outside and they're all about their phone, I feel like I would like to give my son those experiences. Now he's a little bit older, so he'll remember this if we do decide to take trips. So I'm hoping 2022 will be better with the COVID. Like I haven't wanted, I have not wanted to travel because I'm scared of COVID. Um, but that's that's all I've been to. I haven't been anywhere else. I would love to go to Japan as well. 
in the near future my son is into anime i i love to watch some anime as well with him and my husband because he taught me about it um so i feel like i would enjoy it and i love ramen so that's a trip i would love to take um let's see where else would i like to go other than that i can't think of anywhere else i would like to go but yeah let's see let's see if we have another question over here so it's time to go to the post office let's go patrick bye lenny you're not coming and these are the little orders i was able to do i almost finished my two stacks but i was short like five come on bring it muscles Vamanos con la chimichanga con la mano. So Patrick's stuffing them in the car. We're going to the post office. Say hi, Patrick. He's taking a lunch and he hasn't even worked or anything. All right, we're off to the store. All right, this is Patrick's duty. He takes the mail to the post office. Bye, Patrick. Bye, mail. Hope you arrive safely to your destination. So this is one of Patrick's literally only job. He's the muscles of the organization. He um, brings the orders to, I don't know if you guys could see. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Like he drops them off right there. And then right now the truck is gonna be arriving. So right now it's 420 and He's looking for more of those plastic bags. So this is his task. No, he does not get paid. It's part of um part of his duty. Okay, as the way patri. Where are you? Um but yeah, so that's pretty much what I was able to complete. I hope everybody loves their products. Thank you everybody for shopping at zilaysnails.bakertail.com. Um, and if you guys enjoyed my little packing orders, maybe I could do this again. Let me know in the comments. And so we're going to head out to, um, the grocery store because, you know, a mother has to feed herself and her child. Although he already kind of fed his ass himself, I still got to buy something for tomorrow. So we're going to the store. Okay, Patrick. I'm not hungry. I forgot what time it was when I ate, but it's already 4.20, and I'm hungry. I haven't ate a snack or nothing like that. 